Welcome to the weekly update for the Gentleman's Book Club, or rather a slightly longer weekly update because we haven't done one of these for a while. Today is the 12th of October 2024 and I want to have a look back and share with you what we played, talk about some of the videos and a couple of other things to do with the channel as we go on the journey. So we played one frog, one credit, six platforms. This was a Frogger showcase. We took the original arcade game of Frogger and played it and then we basically played various other platforms of it. There was a five games I think we did on here to see which one was the best, which one held up the best of the actual official arcade game we murdered many frogs on our quest but that was a fun enjoyable video to do and i will be doing some of the older arcade machines where you've got a good selection of official games um going forward to do this we've also done a space invaders one as well which isn't shown effectively in this little video showcase looking back at what we did recently but we've done space invaders we've done frogger there will be more so, I love Lemons. Paul Hammond created a great version of Lemons and Load Runner on the Pico 8. And I was just doing a search around on the internet. The thing that Google gives us, and the internet gives us, and everything gives us on the internet. And I found this, and it was on a NES website. The URL where you can get this from will be on the Shadow of Lemons, um, basically, uh, video description below. And I played this. It's a multi-screen sort of platform type game. Brutally hard. Double jump is the feature to success. And I didn't get too far on it but the author came here and he said the game isn't finished this game needs to be finished this game is absolutely brilliant if you like what you see why not leave a note on the video description where you can download this effectively it takes you to a, a, a forum and post a comment for the author let him know if you enjoyed it and maybe 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 he will finish this it is brutally criminal that this game is not finished and then we did lollipop chainsaw this is repopped for the fans we live in a world, we've got to be honest, we live in a world where everybody likes to take offence, all kinds of things, but not everybody, just generally the younger generation, you know, if you can't be offended by something, then there must be something wrong with it. Well, Lollipop Chainsaw um, was an interesting game when it came out, probably about a decade ago, and this has been a re-release on platforms that never had it before, like the PlayStation 5, the Nintendo Switch, uh, the PC. I was playing it on the PC4 or the PC, and you know what? It was really, very, very good. Um, it is just fan service for those that love the original, the publisher has says you know what you want to be offended you know go and die in a chemical fire I actually didn't say that and that's a misquote but they insinuate that they don't care because they're going to release the game for the fans of the original and you know i wish this game every success i had a lot of fun playing it i really really did and then what did we do we did portal puzzle we got hard we got hard with the Commodore 64 i actually grew into this game as we grew to play grew to play it the sprites were very big it was very fast it was very hard you know it was a a game that's been written to be brutal and it really really is brutal it reminded me a little bit of Eurydium the way the ship turned and a couple of things that you could do with it but Eurydium was hard I think this is harder um this is available on itch.io and the link will be in the video description if you go to that particular video as well Following on from that, we played the Killing Antidote. Holy hell, we played the Killing Antidote. We played the test version of it a long, long time ago. And then we played this version. We took the main character and we literally played the video on one live. So if she died, it was effectively game over. And the video went on for, I think, about two hours, maybe a little bit more than that. It's a great game. It's a brilliant game. And I will be going back to this game. This developer has two people, I think, actually leading it. But, you know, if you like Resident Evil, you like Lara Croft type games, you like games where you got a little bit of fan service in there as well, this is the game for you. And it's available on Steam right now in early access. So we did Victory Heat Rally. This game I've been waiting for a little while, and this was a fun game. This was a good game to play, but I absolutely screwed this up. I really screwed this up. The author, I believe the author of the game, came into the comments and said, you know, I wasn't using the button for drift as you should be. I got through the first tracks very, very well, um, but then everything else became brutally, brutally hard, and you know what? I was not at my best. Maybe I'm never at my best, but with this particular game, it was, oh my God, this is hard. You will do better than me. Just remember, there is a drift button that you need to use. And if you use that, you'll get a lot further than what I did. So we had the Killing Antidote versus Girls Aloud. The horror of Girls Aloud. Now, why did we do this? And you know, what is wrong with you? Why would you do this? Well, let me explain. 
I've been traveling for work. So you've had videos all week. You have had videos all week, you know, every other day all week. But I have been away for work. And I dozed on the, the, the plane. And then, you know, I woke up to see where we were. And we were still at the source airport the airport where i was waiting to go up in the air and fly home and i was really really fed up i was listening to my music you know and i do like girls aloud and a, a, a couple of their tracks came on i thought i wonder i've still got the main source video that i had for uh the killing antidote you know i haven't actually deleted that yet i generally keep them for a few days um and, and, until i need more space on the hard drive and i thought what if you take that what if you take that and you put it to music so this is basically a music video it's a, it's a silly little thing that we've done but you may or may not enjoy it we have iron horse Iron Horse I decided to play. I wanted to go back in time. And Iron Horse was one of the first videos that we did on the channel. I was brutally, brutally crap at it. But in this case, we were awesome. We managed to get on the high score a lot. And I mean a hell of a lot. And this was the first time that I've played it on the same platform since I originally did it. So this shows, this proves, this proves that skills can get a little bit better. Now, we have a Discord. There is a screenshot of the Discord. Please join us on Discord. If we can get to, I don't know, 1,000 people, they will allow us to go into a Discord directory, which will really help this little hobby channel grow. And when it grows, you know, the word will spread a little bit more. So if you're not signed up, you know what? Do us a solid and sign up on Discord. It adds to the numbers. And also, obviously, sign up to this channel if you'd be so grateful to do so as well. But no, I want to grow this channel even more, even though it's a hobby channel, even though, you know, there's no monetization on it or anything like that. I really want to grow it. But in growing it, we need to look at the schedule of what we're doing. Now, historically, I have been doing videos every day, almost every day, for quite a long period of time. And we're here, you can see us on the 12th of October, 2024. Yesterday, we had Iron Horse. Tomorrow, on the 13th, you will have at least a video, which is going to be a video request that someone has done on Discord, where you can do it, or sometimes in the comments, or a retro game. You will have a video on the 15th, on the 17th. You can see this every other day we're doing videos. And the reason I'm doing this is this is a hobby channel. And I can't kill myself doing this. You know, I've put so much time into everything that we've got so far. You know, I need to sometimes take your foot a little bit off the gas. And this is the way to do it. So what these Pac-Man symbols represent is they will either be a retro game or a viewer request game, which may or may not be a retro game, but it'll be one of the two that you will have on those days, because I know a lot of you are here for retro. I know some of you like the newer stuff we have as well, but I appreciate a lot of you are here for retro. So that's how I'm gonna be doing that. The days in between, you will get maybe nothing. You may get other stuff. For instance, you know, I wanna play the Killing Antidote again and take it from where we were before to go quite a bit further into the game and see how far we can get. So for instance, you know, I might do a video and that could come out, you know, if we look at the schedule now on the 14th or the 16th or the 18th, it will not take a place of a retro position. So I'm trying to organize myself a little bit more, have a schedule a little bit more. And you know, in the near future, when I've just got things under my belt a little bit better and a bit more in control, we will look at going back to live streams. And one final thing to talk about, when I was away for work, I got addicted. I got addicted to iced coffee. I've bought myself one of these, so I'm Ice Ice GPC now. So this, I can make as many iced coffees as I want at home. This is an ice maker, if you don't know what it is. It makes ice for all times of the day, all times of the year. It doesn't matter. You may wake up in the middle of the night thinking, holy hell, I want to rub ice cubes on myself. Well, you can turn this machine on, and in six of your British minutes time, you will have fresh ice to rub on your body. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed the update. Um, there is a video tomorrow. I will keep these updates going. I'll do my best to keep these updates going every week because they don't take long to make. But all of you stay safe. All of you take care. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.